everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm trying something that almost certainly is not going to work. I want to hang the radio antenna, and this tree just beyond this horizontal one, this closest one right here, is the one I want to hang it off of. There's a little V in the tree up top uh, that would make an R a place to kind of hoist it up, and i got to get a rope through there. Um, so my, my plan, and again, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, even under ideal circumstances, I've done this before, and it usually fails, and these are really in ideal um, circumstances right here. There's a lot of crap around it. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm, I'm firing it up with a bow and arrow, is what I'm doing. Uh, and even if I, I get it right through there, and my M's actually pretty good, uh, I, I think I, although I don't usually shoot straight up, um, and arrows, once you put even a little bit of this fishing line, even if you put a little fishing line on them, it, it's usually enough to veer them off in some direction or another. Um, but even if I do it perfect and it goes right through there, there's a bunch of trees beyond it that this arrow could get stuck in. So it is a, this is a really inideal circumstance. My, my hope is that I can get it up through there and it gets caught in some tree and then with wind, it eventually shakes itself down over a series of like a week or something like that. That's my optimistic view of how this is gonna go. So all right, if you're ever gonna attempt something like this, you want the uh, fishing line to free, uh, freely roll off of the thing. If I had another adult me, I'd have someone kind of hold it right like that. Um, I'm not gonna ask River to do that because it's somewhat dangerous. I'm gonna put it down in this cooler. If I were to put it just down on the ground and expect for it to unfurl, um, it probably would get caught on a, uh, probably would get caught on a, uh, a stick or something like that. So I don't know, have I expressed enough that I don't think this is going to work? But if it does work, it'll be super easy. And uh, all the other alternatives are awful. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go up through there. Let's see. And I don't want this to catch on me or the, oh man, there's a lot of stuff this can catch on on the bow too. All right, let's see. If I not run this in a while, how come I can't? Okay, this is weird. This the, the draw seems longer than it used to be. I don't know. I'm just gonna eyeball it from here. Here we go. Huh? It went somewhere. It got blown a little bit to the the north. I don't know. We'll have to find out in a later video because it's gonna take me a while to. Uh, Find the arrow. Did you see where it went? I know. That actually went pretty well. We'll see. Let's go find the arrow. Uh, let's leave this here. Nah, stupid. Put it someplace safe. wiggle the line and see if we see anything moving. Where did it go? Oh, you know, it's, it didn't go through a, a notch that's particularly favorable, I don't think. Where? Yeah. No, just because it went to the north. Do you hear anything rustling through the trees? Down through there. They just pull in the fishing. This is weird. It feels like the arrow should have held up on something. Unless did the arrow just get released at some point? I used my worst arrow just in case I lost it. I don't see an arrow anywhere. I see it jiggling the branch up there. Okay. I've got tension. I've got tension. Okay, that means there's an arrow somewhere. It's up all the way up in the... No, no, it's the fishing lines up there. That's it. That might be an all right place. I can sling the thing over the back, but the, the problem is we got to find the arrow. Where's the arrow? <laughs> That's the thing. Um, it's really hard to see the fishing line on a day like today. Right, I'm going to take up the slack here. <laughs> 